I could turn your anchor and straight your head. Just push your chin forward, drop your head. Exhale. So your knee and finger should be in one leg. Exhale. Draw elbows inside. Inhale. Stretch up. Look up. It's a very powerful practice. Exhale. Now to synchronize your body movement with your breathing. Inhale. Straighten your elbows. Exhale. Push your chin forward. Drop your head. Drop your body. Now close your body. Once again. Inhale. Arch your back. Look up. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. This is Ardha Hanumanasana breathing. Just practice it. The other side. So we should not put your foot like this. Turn it. Turn your thigh. And then finger sending in one leg. Turn your upper body, it should be balanced. Exhale. Inhale. Stretch up, look up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. When you inhale up, switch this forward, expand your lung, open your shoulders. Exhale. Slowly come down. Should be as slow as possible. Inhale. Should be complete inhalation. And complete exhalation. Last time. Inhale. And exhaling. Slowly come down. Inhaling. Come on. Now, you can just separate your inside. Relax. Come to standing posture. Okay, let's practice hand and in and stretch breathing. Drop your shoulders, clasp your fingers, inhale, stretch, exhale, inhale. Exhale. Each time drop your shoulders. So you have to turn your palms here only. Open up your shoulders. Then exhale. Inhale and stretch. As much as possible. Exhale. You can see from these sides. Inhale. Stretch. Exhale. Once again, inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale, stretch. Exhale. So now, oblique stretch, 135 degree. Exhale. Inhale. Mm -hmm. 
stretch up. Exhale. Last time. Mm -hmm. Exhale. So now concentrate. See, you have to vertical stretch. See, you have to turn here only. You should not do like this. It should be turned and then touch your nose, forehead, and then stretch up. Suck in your abdomen. Whatever you do, any practice, you have to concentrate fully and then learn the technique, do it properly. See here only how to clasp your fingers, turn your arms. See now, touch your nose, forehead, then stretch up. Finally, pull in, pull in your abdominal muscles, stretch, then exhaling, slowly come down. Pull in your breath, stretch up. Emptying your breath, come down. This is vertical stretch, 180 degree. Last time, mm -hmm. stretch. Exhale. See, breathing practices are very important to expand your lung and then deep and slow breathing you have to practice or any yoga practices it will help you out. Now just move on to loosening practices that is first variety is forward backward bending. Swing your hand mm -hmm. without bending your elbows and knees. You have to do backward, forward bending. Mm -hmm. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last step. Now, side bending. Separate your legs. Remember, your feet should be parallel. Toes should be pointing inside. Stretch your hands, shoulder level. Side bending. Bend laterally. Press your foot firmly, let loose your body, do the practice. Concentrate on your stretching and breathing. Spices touching the air. So, next practice is bending and twisting. So, bend, twist, look up, come back, come up. Bend, twist, come back, come up. Breathing crack pattern is so, this is empty. This is inhale, exhale, twist, come back, again inhale, bend, twist, come back, inhale, exhale. Each time when you come up, turn your palm, bend, twist, come up. Last time, bending, 
twisting come back inhaling come up exhale bend so now we will move on to next one is alternate toe touching just stay in the bending posture now just move your hands waist concentrate on your waist look up each time Hold come up. Now, gently bring your legs near. Now, foot apart. One foot almost. Then, swing your hands up. This is full twist. Turn fully. So, breathing pattern is exhale, exhale. You can do active exhalation, but do not bend your knees. Foot should be firm on the floor. Do not close your eyes. That is very important. When you standing posture, please try not to close your eyes. So now, opposite twist, two, each and every practice has its own benefit to loosen your body, then activate. Stop now. So next practice I would like to do is so mountain climbing. That is dynamic practice. See, put your hands like this. Jump. Look up. Your foot should come in between your palms like this. Each time I arch it, look up like Eka Pada Prasarana Sana or Ashwasan Chana Namasana. So now, slowly discontinue and then directly go to Mukhadhavati, separate your legs, look front, throw out your breath from your mouth. After doing loosening, breathing, and then dynamic practice, sufficient heat is produced in your body throughout that. Hot breath, cleanse your breath through mouth, mukha, dhoti. There is acceleration in your heartbeat also, it has a cardiovascular effect is very good to burn calories. It makes your body ready to do the postures as well. Now, into sitting posture. Separate your legs. Shitila Dandasana. Concentrate on your breathing so that it will be normal faster.
You may take, let's start the sitting postures first. Join the legs. We have done Bharadvajasana. Today we will practice one of the twisting postures. It should be like this. Sit like this and then lock opposite knee and elbow. Look up. Try not to raise your heels. Elbow should look up. Concentrate on your waist. Lock knee and elbow opposite. Slowly release. Now, other side. Lock first. Preferably, you are knee side. Foot should be joined. Look up. Concentrate mild twist around your waist. Any type of twisting posture activates the pancreas. Stimulates the insulin production. By that, helping in the patients with diabetes. One more thing is, it is very helpful to reduce your waistline and abdominal girth. Now sit back, separate your legs. Relax again. So, Vasudhaji, in this posture, if you are able to put your heels down but not put the knees together, is no, that no. better or putting no, them together and not able to put the together heels is down better. is better? Yeah, together is better. If you can't do, you can actually separate your foot also. Okay. Separate your foot, separate. If you separate your foot, then knees will not be raised. You can just try that. See, if you separate your foot, knees will not be raised. It will be easier. It gives the same effect for twisting. But only lower part of the body, from waist to toe, it will not be more benefited. See, you can do like this also. But if you do joining, if you can't do joining, you can do separating your legs. See, there are always options in any practices, but you have to listen to your body. Try separating your legs and do the same practice. Thank you. Okay. If you separate your foot, preferably, the heels will not be raised. That is an advantage. So same thing while doing the manasana. See, if you come like this, it is very difficult to bend. So you can separate your legs so that you can bend properly. This practice last week we have done. In case of sit-ups also, when you sit down, the heel should not be raised. But when you join your foot, it is very difficult to make your heels press to the floor. So you can just separate your foot and do the practice. See, next one, let's do Janu Shirasana. Join your legs. First, see, this is the attention or sthiti in sitting posture. So your body is used to collapse. You have to, with awareness, raise your back and then sit straight. Then fold the right leg. 
See, this like should not be disturbed. This should not be taken like this. Should be straight only. You have to take the other leg back so that it has to form an obtuse angle. Now, turn your upper body. See, your hand should not be like this. It should come in one leg like this. So, you have, what you have to do? You have to turn your waist. Let's start with few kriyas. Inhale. Exhale. Try to bend from your waist, not from your back. See, if you bend from your back, you can't reach. See, so you have to push your chin forward, bend down. Inhale up, grow taller. Exhale. See, one more thing is whenever you raise your hand, suck in your abdominal muscles. Then exhale and bend. Exhaling, you have to bend. So then it will help to perfect the posture. Inhale. Exhale, it helps to come down as much as possible. Last time, inhale. Now catch your big toe first. Look front. Then bend like this. Do not bend your head. Push your back forward like this and then bend. Here, chest for this part should be rested on your thigh. Try to put your elbows down on the floor. Do not compromise with your knees. Remember, always toes should be pointing towards you so that your calf muscles and hamstring muscles will be stretching properly. You will get the complete benefit of the asanas. See, wherever you are, you stay there. See, if you are here, stay there. No problem. But breathing should be normal in the final posture. Do not hold your breath in the final posture. Stay there. You will have mild stretch and then pain also. You have to learn to enjoy the pain. Inhale, stretch up. Now exhale. Turn your palm. Release. So next practice is Varivratta Janushirasana. I'll show you sideways. See. Like this, our foot is. You should not collapse your back, raise it. Then, don't just disturb the left leg, just pull back your right leg and then this should form a obtuse angle. Now, turn your body. Then try to catch the big toe. Not like this, turn your palm, catch it from the thumb, insert the thumb. And then try to put your elbow down. Remember, if you just take your body front, you can do that. Here you can't do. Just push your body front. Toes pointing towards you. This knee should go back. Put your elbow down. Then open up your shoulder. Not from here. It should be from here. From back side. See, technique to go to the asana helps to master the asanas. And then it will be benefited more. Now try to treat your head down as much as possible. Then see, you will have a very good stretch here. You will have a twisting effect also. So this is called Parivratta Janu Shirasana or cross head to knee posture. Look up, turn your face now. Slowly. Take your hands like this and then release. Release the other leg. Relax for a while. Janu Shirasana and then Parivratta Janu Shirasana. So now let's do other side. Join your legs again. Now just put the Left leg, you can see from this side better. Now inhale, 
turn your upper body. Exhale. Inhale, stretch up. While bending forward, sucking your abdomen just to push your chin forward. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale. Stay there. See, the toes should be pointing towards you. Do not lift this knee. Press your knee to the floor. Chest should be rested on your thigh. If you can't do, if you are here, stay there. If you are here also, stay there. But see that your back should be flat. It should not be bent like this. Raise your back, bent. Now, slowly inhaling, come up. Release your hands. Relax. So next practice is Paribratta Janushirasana. Like this. Hold it. Put your elbow down. Look this side. Toss your chest. Raise your hand up. Turn your face. Look up. Go down as much as possible. In the twisting effect on your waistline and then upper body also. Turn as much as possible. Breathe normally now. Maintain the posture. You can close your eyes also. Now slowly come up like this only. Stretching. Then release this leg. See, in between two asanas, you have to relax to regain the energy and then to bring back your breathing to the normal rate. So next practice we are going to do Hakarna Dhanurasana. Join your legs. See again, put your hands like this. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up. See that your back is straight. See, with one hand you have to catch your big toe and then yes, release. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, stay there. Akarula Dhanurasana. It looks like a posture of bow and arrow. Release. Other side. Release. Try to remember the names of the practices. First one we did is Janu Shirasana and this variations. Now we did Hakarna Dhanurasana. So now we will try to do the variation. So you have to, you are catching the same leg and toes. You should try to 
change your hands now. Opposite toe, try to catch with opposite hand. Now, inner hand should be raised. Should try to touch the opposite here. Here, body will be little bit bent. Release. Now again, change your hands. So, inner hand you have to lift and try to catch. This gives a twisting effect. You can feel in your abdominal muscles mainly, not in your waist. Release. Separate your legs. Relax. If you follow the technique properly and then try to maintain for a longer time. In this cold also, you are supposed to sweat. So next one is a balancing posture, that is Bakasana. You just observe that. Please do not try. If you are trying also, you can put a packing here or pillow and then you can try. So you have to sit like this. In this posture. Separate your hands. Try to put your palms down. And then slowly face. Raise your foot. Look front. Green posture, Bakasana. Your knee should come on your upper arm. So to look front, you should not bend your head. If you bend your head, you may topple forward. You may lose the balance also. Once again, you can try the posture. See, take your legs like this. Put. And then lift your buttocks. Your hand should not be like this. It should be like this. And then palm should be turned inside. Then press your whole body weight should is will be on your palms. Palms should be firmly pressed to the floor. And then raise your heels first. Then raise your foot. Look front. Bakasana. Release. Relax. All balancing postures are very good to strengthen your body, to burn the calories as well. Once you practice the balancing postures, you can feel the cardiovascular effect also. Now slowly come to standing posture. Today we are going to practice Prasarita Pada Hastasana. For that, that is also called Prasarita Pada Uttanasana also. Separate your legs. Remember, as I told you earlier, you are Toes should be pointing inside and then outer edge of the foot should be pressed properly. Then what happens? Your foot should be firm and then you will not lose the balance and then your hamstring muscles and calf muscles will also stretch very nicely. First posture is this one. Separate your legs. Foot should be parallel and then outer edge of the foot should be pressed. Now stretch your hands. Turn your palm. Step by step you have to go. No stretch up. Suck in your abdominal muscles. Inhale here first. Inhale. Fill in your breath. 
Now exhaling, push your buttocks back, push your chin forward. This is halfway. Stay there, look front. So again, once again, inhale here. Exhaling, go down. See where your head is reached, there only you have to put the palm. You should not move front or back. It should be here. See from here, where it is reaching, you have to put the palms there only. Now take your buttocks front, just body front. Adjust your foot. Then try to put your elbow down. Inhale. Lift up. Exhale. Try to put your elbow down. Inhale up. Exhale. Now try to put your head down. Try to get your ankles. So your elbows can be bent, but do not bend your knees. Your crown of your head should come in between your foot. Prasarita Pada Kastasana. Here you can just try the Namaskar Mudra also. Very, very powerful posture. It's people with high BP or heart problem, please do not stay for the longer time. So it gives the effect of Shirshasana also. Blood rushes to your head. No. Put your palms down while coming back. Palms down and then bring your legs near. Come halfway and then easy. Stretch up. Exhale. Turn your palm. Release. Relax. See, next to practice is you have to turn your palm, push your knees, clasp your fingers, straighten your back, vertically go down, go down. Stretch your hands down. Do not bend forward. Look front. Now you can join your palms also, Madhasana. Very good posture to open up your pelvic region. This is advised for the pregnant woman also. It is very helpful for them to strengthen your Pelvic region. Slowly come up with a stretch. You feel a very good stretch in your thigh. You can do it near the wall also so that you will not bend forward. See, like this. First, go down, join. See, you can feel a very good stretch in your thighs. Come up. And then first thing we have to do is relaxing. Relax knees first. Whenever you feel any part of your body is exerted, immediately how to relax. When switching on, on to the next posture, any posture while you are starting, there should not be any constriction or pain. No, relax your. Well. Twist. Reverse. Okay. 
if you keep on practicing yoga, your posture will be perfect, styling pattern, walking pattern. And then with your posture, you feel very graceful. And then your body will be lean and those fat muscles will turn into lean muscles. Your bo you look lean, but your body weight will be very good. That is normal according to your height. You will not lose weight beyond the knot. That is a one good thing. Balances the body weight and height. Next, we will do the Surya Namaskara. Stand straight. Join your palms. Let's jump. Surya Mantra. Iranmayina patrena satyasya pihitam mukham tatvam pushan apavrunu satya dharmaya drishtai Om Ram Hiranyagarbhaya namaha Urdhvasana Uttanasana Ekapada Prasaranasana Will you stretch in your inner thigh? Toes and fingers in one line, look front Depress your back Then without disturbing the the leg, just bring back the left leg, join your toes, Dvipada Prasaranasana or Dandasana. Now flatten your foot, put your knees down, release your toes, go back, sit on your heels, forehead down, elbows down. Shashankasana. Now come up to your toes again. Chest, bend your elbows. First put your forehead, then chest. Do not rest your abdomen. Now, Uttva Mugishwanasana. Lift your knees up. Push your waist down. Look up. Next one is Adho Mukhashwana Sala. Again, resting posture that is Shashanka Sala. Very relaxing. Next is Ashwasan Chalana Sala with a one stretch. Your foot should come in between your palms. Now again, push your waist down. Look front, Ashwasanchalanasana. Finally, bring back your leg for Adhavastasana. Back to Namaskar Mudra. Om Rheem Marichai Namaha Ekam Dve Trini Chatwari Tandasana, Pancha, Shashankasana, Shata, Ashtanga Namaskarasana, Sapta, Urdhva Mukashvanasana, Lift your knees up, push your waist down, Ashta, Urdhva Mukashvanasana, 
Да? Шишан Карсана. Даша. Кашва Санчала Насана. It's just your food. И Каташа. Пада Хастасана. Гладыша. Намаскар мудра. Ом, рум, адитя, я не могу. Let's follow the breathing pattern. Нихим, урдвасана. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ekapada Prasaranasana. Exhaling, Vipada Prasaranasana. Inhaling, Flatten your foot, put your knees down. Do not move your palms and toes. Exit. Shishankarsana. Inhale, come up. Exit. Ashtanga Namaskar Asana. Inhale. Uttu Mukashwanasana, lift your knees up, push your waist down. Exhale. Uttu Mukashwanasana. You can just try to breathe in the air. Now we again inhaling knees down. Exhale. Shishan Kasana. Inhaling. Ashwasan Chalanasana. Your chin bone should be vertical to the floor. And then, if possible, try to put your whole palm down. Exhaling. Bring back the leg. Father has that one. Inhale. Come up. Exhale. Namaskar Mudra. Now we are ready to do the last one. That is with Bija Mantras. Om Shri Savitra Surya Narayana Yanamaha. So just observe which mantra has to be told with which name, the order of the Bija mantras. Om Ram Mitra Yanamaha. Om Rim Ravane Namaha. Om Rum Surya Yanamaha. Om Rain Hanami Namaha. Om Rum Kaga Yanamaha. Om Raha Kushni Namaha Om Ram Hiranagar Bhaya Namaha Om Rheem Maritri Namaha Om Rom Aditya Namaha Om Rain Savitri Namaha Om 
ओम ह्रौम अर्काय नम सूर्य नमस्कार डिफरेंट पैटर्न प्रोन पोस्टर आरोग्यम भास्कर गेट आर टाइप ऑफ एनर्जी and then vitality so we can learn the hiranmayina patrena mantra satya dharmaya drushtaye now let's practice one prone posture that is dhanurasana join your legs stretch your hands forward chin on the floor hold both leg catch at your ankle first let loose your body normalize your breathing then inhaling lift up try to lift your thigh up see in down slowly release once again you can try hold your legs Catch your ankles. Normalize your breathing. Then lift up. You can swing your body front and back. Roll sideways. Then. slowly release relax separate your legs heel should be facing each other makarasana relax until your breathing comes to normal no as you can i prefer to do plank see clasp your fingers lift your middle part of the body straight up so you can just move your legs like this it is very good relaxation to your waist region also move right and left so come back to plank just lift front little bit you can feel the activation in your manipura chakra navel region strengthen your body balances your whole body then 9 eight 7 6 5 4 3 2 slowly release you can directly go to supine posture come on your back
separate your legs. So now observe your whole body. How the asanas are affecting your body. You can feel the stimulation in your whole body. During this long weekend, you can practice at least few Surya Namaskaras. See, loosening Surya Namaskara and then Shavasana. And then a little bit of Pranayama also. Do not skip your yoga practice. At least try to do for 15 minutes. See, regularity is more important to be in shape and practice. Now, let's practice you. Supine postures. For that, join your legs. Fold your legs. Today, we are going to do Setu Bandhasana or bridge posture. So lift your waist up, support, then stretch both legs. This is Setu Bandhasana. Bring back your legs, release. Okay. See, complementary posture for Dhanurasana and Setu Bandhasana is Pavana Muktasana. Fold both knees. This folds body in the other pattern. And like Dhanurasana and then Setu Bandhasana. This relaxes your back. So release. So today we will practice. <coughs> 30, 60, 90 degree of leg raising. Join your legs. Stretch your hands up. See those who are having back pain or exerted back can practice with the single leg. Like 30, 60, 90, 60, 30, release. Today we are going to practice with both legs. Those who can practice, do follow me. See, both legs 30 degree, toes pointing towards you. Release. Now, both legs 60. Release. See now, you can lift one by one. 90. Now lift your head up. It gives the very good stretch. And then tones your upper abdomen also. Spread your elbows. Toes pointing towards you. This is 90 degree. Then move on to 60. 30. Then again, without touching to the floor, 60, 90, 60, 30. Do not exert your back. If you are exerted, you can immediately stop the practice. 90, 60, 30, 60. 
ninety, sixty, thirty, sixty, ninety. Last time, sixty, stay there. Thirty, stay there. Then release. So you can feel the effect on your lower abdominal muscles and then upper abdominal muscles also. As we have raised the upper body, it's a very powerful practice to reduce the abdominal girth. Any practice done in the supine postures helps to reduce your abdominal girth. On your prone, that is on your abdominal muscles. If you turn your body, it is very good for the back. Like Dhanurasana is very good for the back, and then Setu Bandhasana also. It's very good to strengthen and you can feel the compression in your back muscles. So the muscles will be strengthened to hold the joint strongly. So practicing yoga sana is a mainly said as preventive measure or prevention is better than cure. See, so before starting off any disease or any lifestyle disorders, just regularly keep on practicing yoga. There will, not, there will be niramaya, sarve santu niramaya means without disease. See, any lifestyle disorders like hypertension and then sugar level or diabetes. You, have, you can control with asanas and pranayamas in the beginning stages so that you can eradicate it for your whole lifetime. But whenever it starts, if you start taking tablets, you have to be on the lower dose even if you practice the yoga asanas. So always try with yoga for any onset of any disease or mainly lifestyle disorders like thyroid, sugar, BP, and then obesity, hormonal imbalance. All these basic things, you don't have any medicine in the allopathic field or any else other fields how to control with medicines only. If you start practicing yoga before the onset of the disease, you will not, you can postpone the, if it is hereditary trait, you can postpone them. Otherwise, complete prevention is possible you practice yoga regularly. So now let's move on to side crunches. One, two, lift your upper body. Of the practice, you have to consider your body limit. Someone continuing any practice, you need not continue. You have to listen to your body. Day by day, your body capacity will also be increased if you do not harm your body. In the beginning stages itself, if you want to perfect the posture, you may hurt your body, then it will be difficult to maintain the posture also and then reach the final posture. Now, stretch your legs forward. 
So before that, you just do relaxation. Clasp your hands like this, lift your knees to circle with your knees. Try not to separate. It gives a very good relaxation to your exerted back. Try to make a bigger round, bigger circle with both the knees. Reverts. Now join your knees, separate your foot, relax, move your neck right and left. Then you can join your foot, separate your knees. Sutta Kodasana. This also relaxes your back very nicely and then thighs also. Main thing is you have to let loose your body. Now finally, stretch your legs forward, relaxing, Shavasana. Today we have lost time in the beginning, so that we will go for instant relaxation. For that, join your legs. Bring your hands near. Tighten your toes, foot, ankle joints, calf muscles, knees, thighs, pelvic region. Abdominal region, chest, make fist of your palm, squeeze your facial muscles, tighten your whole body, tighten, tighten, tighten. Hold the position. Immediately, let loose your whole body at once. Separate your legs, separate your hands. This is called Instant Relaxation Technique or IRT. Whole body is squeezed at once and then relaxed. Now you need not relax for a longer time. So give movement to your toes, fingers and neck. Bring your legs together, hands near the body. Fold your left leg, slide your right hand above. Turn towards your right, one leg on the other. Then slowly come out of Shavasana. Sit in any comfortable posture for a short pranayama session today. No? Sit comfortably, of asanas of your choice, and then in between two practices, you can change your posture also if your posture is not comfortable. See, your body is relaxed very nicely. You can feel the relaxing mind also. Now, let's start with Pranayama Mantra. Pranasyedam vashet sarvam tridiveyat pratishthitam mateva putran rakshasva shrishcha pratnyascha videhinanti Let's start with Kriya. Today we'll go for Skrika. Forceful exhalation. Forceful inhalation. See? Do not strain your hands. Just concentrate on your breathing.
stop the practice. Immediately close your eyes. You can feel the effect of Astrika on your mind, breath and body. That is Kevala Kumbhaka. The state where you do not feel like inhaling or exhaling. Just experience that case of your mind, body and breath. Sahaja Kumbhaka, temporary holding of breath. So I am doing Vastrika. There should not be gap in between inhalation and exhalation. Continuous inhalation, complete exhalation, continuous exhalation, complete exhalation. Now let's move on to yogi breathing. As our breathing came to normal now, we feel like resuming breathing. See now, adopt the Brahma Mudra. It like this. Complete breathing for three rounds. That is yogic breathing. Deep inhalation, slow exhalation. Concentrate on your breathing. Exhalation should be double the time of the inhalation. Inhale and keep quiet. Do not put any force for exhalation. The exhalation will be automatic. Again, inhale completely. Now practice three rounds of yogi breathing. See today, let's practice Ujjayi Pranayama, that is inhalation and exhalation through nostrils only, but while exhaling, just to constrict the throat and then produce vibrations, and then sound should be like a snoring sound, which you could only hear. Let's start that. Inhale fully. <laughs> Do not strain your throat, just a little bit of vibration in your windpipe. Now to experience again. Last time. See, Ujjayi Pranayama is very good for the people who are having thyroid as it activates the thyroid gland. And then people with asthma, it activates the windpipe so that the narrowness of the windpipe will be extended. It is very good for the people who want to make their voice culture. It is singers. Next, we will do Brahmari, that is inhalation and exhalation through nostrils only. While exhaling, touch your tongue to the upper palate and then produce humming bee sound. Inhale. For that, let's adopt Shanmugi Mudra. Mm. Okay. 
cluster. Stop the practice. See, grammary is the preparatory practice for meditation. You can directly go into get into the meditation now. Those who are having leisure time, they can continue with the meditation that is concentrating in between your eyebrows and then slowing down of your breath in the initial stages. Then you can try to meditate on any shloka or any god or any omkara picture or sound meditation like chanting of omkara continuously and then concentrating in your mind. Otherwise also these many practices automatically calms down our mind and then there will not be any difficulties for inner journey. Let's learn one shloka today that is from Subhashita. Si priya vakya pradhanena sarve tushyanti jantavaha tasmat tadeva vaktavyam vachaneka daridrata that means priya vakya pradhanena if you talk very in a pleasant way, everybody will be pleased. Kriya Vakya Pradhanena Sarve Dushyanti Jantavaha. Even if pet animals also, if you talk gently, they will be pleased. Jantavaha means all jeevis, all living creatures. Tasmat Kadeva Vaktavyam. For that, you have to speak very enough, sweet way, pleasant way. Vachani ka daridrata. There is no scarcity for words. Or sound talking. Or pleasant talking. So let me repeat this shloka once again. Priya vakya pradhanena sarve tushyanti jantavaha tasmat tadeva vaktavyam Vachane ka daridrata. So now let's end this session with our omkara and an ending prayer. In this meditative posture only, take a deep breath in. Asato ma sadgamaya tamaso ma jyotirgamaya mrityur ma amrutangamaya om shanti shanti Take back your hands. Inhale. Exhale. Kuna Mana. Inhale. Slowly come up. Grab your thumbs. Progress in it. In a feet. To do farming. Transfer that heat to your eyeballs. Do not press. Thank you for joining everyone.